Good morning, hello, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I am so excited to bring to bring you guys two amazing artists from the Coachella Valley to this week's issue of Making Art Public. I mean, thank you so much, you guys, for going on this fun little journey with me. And I am going to introduce to you Tony and Karen. Barone. <laughs> okay. I, okay. First of all, Karen always goes first. Karen, Karen and Tony Barone. Barone. Okay. Yeah, we, use, we use a kind of Chicago Italian version of the name. Okay. So Barone. So forgive me. I should have asked no, that. You okay. should, no, no, no. Barone is correct if you watch enough television. <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah. See, I'm a New Yorker, so I say Barone. In New York, in New York, in New York Barone is frequent. Right. Yeah. Very frequent. Yeah, but so that's they, what I... They, they chop everything, though. Oh, of Mount course. Like, set them out of code. Everything. So I'll do the intro again. Oh. So, okay, perfect. Oh. Because <laughs> we're being recorded, so you could edit that part out. So we want perfection here. All right. Or close to it. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. Oh, yeah, this is my little Chewini. Oh, <laughs> we just, we just, you know, we did two giant chihuahuas. Oh, um, my God. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm loving you guys. Let's get this started. Go, right. go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Making Art Public. Today, we have an amazing, two amazing guests. Uh, with us today, we have the beautiful and amazing Karen and Tony Baroni. <laughs> I am so elated to finally get a chance to talk to both of you. We're honored I, that you, you chose us to have this discussion with. Especially oh. being a couple. I know that in some of the past interviews I've watched that you already presented which are fantastic it's individual so now this is like breaking a new barrier yes we're being groundbreaking being able to uh, to interview two uh, two artists that work together and we want to know all about that process like how you all work together uh i mean like what how did this how did this come about please tell us oh uh, well that's a love affair the whole thing is about this is all just foreplay we're just <laughs> moving along uh i uh karen and i met on a train at a train station in chicago and i've been on the tracks ever since <laughs> and, and that's when it all started and from there we traveled the world and lived in Soho in New York, had a farm in Tennessee, had a big studio in Venice. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a fabulous journey. And, and what's funny is I, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. It just keeps rolling. And every morning is a, a new, it's just a new day and a new adventure and, and, and a day to make art and love. <laughs> so not did, necessarily that order in that order <laughs> but one is the other they both complement each other <laughs> well, um, work, i'm sorry i'm gonna be right. talking all day no, Karen, no, 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 no. Where our work is about love right. and i also <laughs> mentioned to shonda is that you are verbal and i'm visual so visual verbal but I will get a word in that twice, and we will definitely talk over each other because that's what we do. The last, We're both the, enthusiastic. The last interview we did, Karen took um, duct tape and put it <laughs> over my mouth. But in her ultimate, in her infinitive uh, style, the duct tape, uh, tape was hot pink. <laughs> Always consider. Next, I expect polka dot duct tape. So tell me, you all, like, so when you start to tackle a piece, how, uh, from the beginning, uh, do you come up with a concept together? Do you come up with an idea? I mean, are you waking up from sleep and said, I, I dreamed of these amazing rabbits and I want to make them. That actually is yeah, very oh, frequent, that, that yeah. waking up from sleep. Right. Uh, because we, we jumpstart every, every day and we execute one out of 20 ideas uh, mm -hmm. because the work is so large and intensive and 
it takes a big commitment right. to fabricate. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot of ideas that come up in between. So uh, it's, it's just like a ping pong game. We, you know, it just starts, oh, I've got a great idea. Boom. And that could have come from either of us. And, and we really and, never remember who initiated the there, first. Yeah. There's no author. There's no author to the no, idea. No. The idea, it starts out as a germ and it grows back and forth. And, and uh, that, that's basically how it works. And then we start communicating, not only verbally, but we sketch, we build maquettes. We, uh, Karen is, you know, I don't, I'm sure you're aware of Karen's videos are off the Richter scale. I and mean, your website is totally amazing. I love all your Instagram posts. I'm so oh, excited to finally get a, a chance to talk to you. Um, so tell me about, does every uh, fire station have a hero dog in front of it? Tell well, me that's, a, that's that a goal, but about. it's not the case. No, <laughs> it sounds fantastic. However, there are 33 across the country. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very How exciting. many in the valley? Five in the Five valley. Five in the valley. And we're very proud of each one, and they're all different colors. There's one, one in Israel. The There's one in South America and in, in um, Salvador. Salvador. It's at St. Salvador. That one's at a children's museum. Correct. Yeah, there, it's been a great project, and we're uh, kind of uh, readdressing it now with some uh, follow up with those works. We're actually working with the cities, uh, with our galleries in the cities that have our heroes because it, it, it's, it's an entree, it's who we are. They know us, right. the dogs right. preceded us. And how do you manufacture, how does the process happen? I mean, these dogs are humongous. Yeah. They yeah, are, and, that, and they're small compared to the yeah, some of the last two works, works, like this ten foot rabbit and the right. uh, giant, giant. Uh, there's a well, we the giant installation of rabbits, mm -hmm. but there's nothing we can't build. We have the ability to engineer, mathematically create, and fabricate, and we work in a giant factory, and we're the only artists that work there. They were the only eyes they let in. Yeah. Uh, well, we sure. kind of know what we're doing, and we work with giant, massive equipment for bending. For every oh, piece is cut. The material, aluminum. They're all aluminum. The fat, the material goes to the factory. We cut it out. We form it, which means roll it or break, break it. it, which means bend it, and then we uh, weld it. And, and, and then and it becomes course, a rabbit or right, it becomes gets, a figure. Gets painted. I mean, there's just many stages. And I'm happy to say it requires a good number of people that we like to think we're help supporting as mm -hmm. artists in our community within a very small radius. Yeah, there, there are at least 100 people that are involved along yeah, the each, way because each, I, each discipline each, I, is a... Uh, expert. You know, uh, uh, aluminum welding is very difficult. It's not like regular welding. Maybe one in 15 welders can aluminum weld. And uh, so the, and the piece come, travels across the valley, across the county, comes out of Riverside. The materials come out of uh, uh, Riverside and transferred to a factory in Fontana. And it just keeps going and it moves, the piece moves, and then we Move join, yeah, we meet it. Hello, right. here we are. Karen <laughs> this is fantastic. This is what we do next. Karen, you, it, we should have a, there's a big documentary being done on our work presently. There's a, a film, a full length feature film mm -hmm. that's been in the process for a year and a half and it's, it's growing and, and uh, we should have you. Uh, he's been wanting to shoot you at, when you're in the factory, but Karen shows up at the factory, you know, and these are- Oh, is Karen? I'll be Karen. <laughs> she shows up, well, Karen is always Karen. I am. She, she doesn't dress for the occasion. She is the occasion. She goes <laughs> to the factory, she walks in, in heels, 
<laughs> everybody's got iron toed shoes. And she you. says, berets and capes for everyone. <laughs> We're all artists today. And, and you see this little 80 pound dynamo dealing with 300 pound steel workers and giant equipment. Man, it's man. exhilarating. It, it is, it, it is exciting. so exciting to, to build work. So you have your dogs in front of the um, house, uh, in front of the firehouses, and then you have more that are in front of the animal shelter. And right. there was a bunny installation that was in um, El Paseo, which right. every time I went by there, I, <laughs> I had to stop and frolic with the bunnies. How do you see your art healing um, what's going on in the country right now? Like, are you working on any projects uh, yeah. Always. Yeah, Always. we are actually put together a a uh, installation virtual, there. Yeah, we, a virtual tour. Uh, well, we two things. We we just finished a proposal for two giant cats, three giant cats, and two dogs the size of the our hero, but they're puppy golden retrievers, and we called it World Peace. If they can get along, why can't we? So it's these dogs and cats, not fighting like dogs and cats. They're harmonious in that. So that's, that's one on the board. As far as healing, one of the most meaningful pieces that we've done that's in Palm Springs, by the way, is at the Comprehensive Cancer Center. And it's, a, it's called Hope. They named it. They named it Hope. Uh, there's a subtitle, Hope the, the Rabbit. Hope the Rabbit, <laughs> rabbit. right, exactly. And, and it's, it's a giant... Positioned. Uh, we actually donated uh, the, this yeah, piece. It's this an eight-foot rabbit. We had to. We had to. It's an eight-foot <laughs> rabbit in front of the entrance to the uh, de Desert Regional Comprehensive uh, Cancer, Cancer Center. Center. And it's a giant uh, purple rabbit. And it's purple because purple is the color of cancer healing. That's their symbol. Mm -hmm. And it has pink polka dots. That's the symbol for breast, breast cancer. cancer. And it is the most meaningful piece we've done because people with cancer I see this every day and they, they have actually like seminars and they have visits and we get letters constantly thanking us for making their day or helping them feel better and it's, it, it's unbelievable the it's best thing one of the best things we've ever done yeah, it's amazingly uplifting to yeah. get those kind of emails and letters it just it does so much for your soul it so really yeah so yes this is our work is about healing our work is about unification our work is about love and happiness and uh, and it, it always is. It just it, it, there's a, a a ensemble piece at the um, desert arc, mm -hmm. desert arc. It's five figures, one with a heart, and it's called joined at the heart. Well, and that, that has meant so much to them for one of the main reasons being, no one knew where their campus was. No one really understood what is Desert Arc about. Well, the city wouldn't allow signage. No. Mm -hmm. So, the, and the campus is set back, but art can go right up to the curb practically. Yeah. And so this, we did this piece and it has meant so much to them. They've taken the, and there are our, our colors. We only have seven colors because, but uh, no, nine colors. We yes. have nine colors. I mixed that up with <laughs> the rainbow. Correct no, the rainbow is seven colors. So it's two more than the rainbow. That's good. Go. <laughs> and and uh, we only have uh, nine colors that are proven, tested, that we've done. There are original transparent colors that go through, you see through to the ground down aluminum. So they radiate and electrify and They've, ad they've ad adopted those Adapt adopted. How are you using the term? Well, they've taken them, or they've adapted and adopted. Okay, that works. They've adopted <laughs> and adapted. This right. is our normal conversation. I love it. <laughs> and those, now they're their colors for everything. They started painting all the walls inside the campus and the facility. And, oh, man. Is there brochures that go out or in those Yeah, it's, we've had... A, a, 
they've given us a really meaningful award for our contribution. Again, that was one we donated. Selling our work just gives us opportunity yeah, to, so to nice. do that. We, yeah, we're sure. very fortunate. And uh, so that, that's it. The other thing is, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was jump just about to ask you. Anytime you want. I was <laughs> just about to ask you what what year? When did you guys move to the Coachella Valley? What oh. brought you here? I mean, we're yes, pioneers. <laughs> we I came mean, with the wagon <laughs> trains. We came with the military troops that first came as a stop off. Two thousand and five. Oh, so we've been here for fifteen years now. That, that does make us. You know, we kind of. There weren't a lot of artists there. There were some, but mm -hmm. now we have so many new artists and young artists. And one of the things we just initiated yesterday was we called the Tony Bennett uh, model, where mm -hmm. Tony Bennett uh, joins up with young up and coming singers to create music. Mm -hmm. So we are now starting to work with other young, with other artists that bring us your project. Let's see if it's something we could join together with. Well, one of the things that we've done over the years of being here uh -huh. is lecture almost every year, sometimes twice a year, to the art students at the Palm Springs High School. Well, that what an incredible, and, incredible and facility. It is, and it's interesting because our approach isn't how to do art. They're taught that throughout the year. Yeah, and what, they're, wait, wait, trying... their, their instructors are the oh, best. Oh, yeah, they're very, very good. I've, better than any I've ever had from the Art Institute in Chicago or anywhere. So uh, we really have a great nucleus. I'm sorry, Karen. But you know what yeah, I want yeah. to tell, talk, yeah. want you to talk about so I don't forget? <laughs> what? I want you to talk about the, the app we just created. Oh, one of the reasons he's bringing that up, it'll probably be out in about a week, but it's an app of a Baroni art tour of the Coachella Valley. And knowing that so many of us obviously can't go to museums or be in public places, mm -hmm. but we can get in our cars and our little, little spaces and travel through time and go to different art on exhibit as many of the pieces are yeah. in Palm Springs. So these these tech, creative tech geniuses, uh, John and Mary Orlin, who are doing the film, created this, their idea. They came to us and said, oh, you should have a tour that starts in Palm Springs and ends in Indio, and we're gonna do it. So they created this app, and it's unbelievable because each stop shows you the picture, tells you the story, there's maps, and, if you took the whole tour, well, there are 18 works in the tour. That's 18 works in the valley that we can that we authored. And oh my goodness, Look, and I I I cannot wait to hear and see more about this app. I thank you both so much. I go to their website, go to the artist directory and click on this amazing couple and you will be blown away by the amazing art couple, uh, the, the amazing artwork that comes from this dynamic duo. So you all, thank you so much. We've run out of time already. I could talk to you all both all day long and I plan to talk to you all both again because we definitely want to hear about a project that you're working on now and um, how we're going to get more public arts from you. So thank you both so much. We love and adore you both. And we cannot wait to see what beautiful creations come out of your gallery. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank, thank, you, thank you for you. being an art angel. Bye. We <laughs> appreciate it. Bye. Bye.